Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna let my subscribers, aka you guys, pick my hair color. So there's a few things going on here. First off, I've never dyed my hair before, ever. But I'd like to do it at least once in my life. And secondly, last year I ended up growing my hair out because I was doing a bunch of decades fashion videos and I wanted my hair to be lengthy for the 60s and the 70s. So at this point, I've got really long hair and I wanna dye it at some point, so I feel like I should do it now because I've got all this extra space to play and if I'm gonna cut it off eventually, why not have a little fun? Finally, I thought it would be cool to do some type of interactive video as a thank you to you guys for 4 million subscribers. But over the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to dye my hair, so let's do it now. To decide the hair color, I put up a couple of different polls on YouTube and Twitter, prompting you to choose from a selection of colors, all of which I'm open to, and all of which are also in like an ombre or balayage style. I can never say that word. I always say balayage, but it's balayage. 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 None of those are correct, I'm sure. So the first option on the poll is a natural ombre look. It's kind of like a lighter brown or caramel color. I feel like in an alternate universe where I'm a contestant on The Bachelor, my hair looks like this. Option number two is a gray ombre style, kind of inspired by the fact that I'm starting to sprout a few gray hairs here and there. And it's also kind of inspired by Jade Thirlwall of Little Mix's previously gray hairs. I just feel like this would be a cool way to embrace my graying scalp. Option number three is a blue ombre, which is kind of like Ravenclaw inspired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about how the blue would fade out, but I also think that at first, the blue would be like really cool and kind of subtle. And option four is a lavender ombre. I've seen this look really cool on other people, and it's kind of like a different take on the gray, so I just threw it into the mix. So up until this point, to keep everything a surprise, I have not reviewed the results of the polls. In fact, I'm gonna have Tyler go in and compile the raw numbers of the results from the Twitter poll and the YouTube video poll. And from those numbers, he's gonna tell the hairstylist which color she should dye my hair, and I'm gonna find out your guys' choice in the salon when it's done. All right, let's do it. Good morning. It's decently early in the morning. Well, early for us, it's around 8 a.m. And we're heading to the hair salon right now to get my hair dyed. But because I'm changing my hair today, we ended up filming a lot of stuff late into the night last night because I didn't want like for my hair to randomly change in the middle of videos, which it's definitely still gonna do. Yeah. Like I feel like for the next like three videos, I'm just gonna like have black hair in the beginning and then halfway through have mystery hair. Mystery hair. That I don't know yet. But I know. So I'm excited to see what happens and um, basically everyone knows but me. So we were recommended by a friend to go to Natalie at the This or Die hair salon in Atwater Village. Everyone say hi Natalie. Hi Natalie. Hi. <laughs> We had sent her images of all of our options, and then Tyler had called ahead to tell her which one won. Do you always part your hair on this side? Yes, usually right here. Okay. Do you want layers at all, maybe? I mean, sometimes I feel like that shows mm. off the color. Yeah, I'm down for layers. I feel like I just don't want to take too much length off, because okay. my um, safety plan is if I freak out and I don't like it, then I'm just gonna... <laughs> Cut it off, okay. Not immediately, you know, not like today, but you know down the line. Right. Given that I had never dyed my hair before, I was a little nervous, especially about the bleaching. I've heard bad things and I've seen bad things. So you're thinking you want to keep the ombre starting a little bit lower. Yeah, maybe like a little bit more like bob length. Okay. All right. It's actually better that you've never colored your hair. It's going to make my job a lot easier. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. I think I'm ready. Okay, cool. Let me go mix up. I'll be right back. So Natalie said that since I had virgin hair, we were gonna be able to do all of the bleaching and dyeing in one session. And she pretty much got straight down to business. First, she started by teasing my hair and then adding bleach to the ends. Did you warn your um, friends and family that you're doing this? No. No. My mom's gonna have a heart attack. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's gonna hate when we hit five million subs when we give Sock a tattoo. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that gonna happen? Are you gonna do a tattoo? Well, if I hit five million subs, maybe I'll let them pick my tattoo next. Wow. We're establishing a dangerous precedent. Yeah, because after that, what do you do? Choose which finger to lose. <laughs> this teasing technique was to make the transition between my hair and the color more of a gradient rather than a harsh line. The vibe was definitely like a aluminum beetle juice. You know, my initials SN do stand for the element tin. This is destiny then. My entire life has led up to this moment. As this was happening, the reality of what we were doing started to set in, but once the bleach was on, there was really no turning back. Okay, so you can see the color is lifting. Really nice. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, whoa. What's going on back there? Oh, it's good, Saf. It's green. Already? It's already green? It's already green. green. Saf, we chose a different color. So once she had fully foiled me, she put me inside her warm alien pod, AKA underneath the blow dryer. Where are you taking me? I feel like for most people watching who have gotten their hair done before, they're gonna be like, you're an idiot. But for me, it was a new experience. And yes, the last time I stepped into a hair salon was 2016. I think I've reached full Chipotle burrito. Is it the tinfoil? Yeah. Based on the way they look inside, it's almost like a half-eaten taco. Oh. Hair tacos? Hair tacos. That sounds like something else. <laughs> Natalie was very keen on not letting me know the color and actually was like throwing out some misdirections. It looks blue. That could be the bleach, that could be the color. We don't know yet. Natalie's really selling this. Yeah, <laughs> Natalie Savage. <laughs> some of my tacos were ready to be unshelled, so we made a few trips back and forth from the alien pod to the sink. Oh, it's like a rat's nest back there. <laughs> it's like a rat king. And back again. I kind of look like um, a founding father with bedhead. I'm like John Adams and I woke up in my curl are kind of just askew. I'm like, Abigail, <laughs> Abigail. And a couple of my gray hairs made an appearance. Is that bleached in there? Is that a gray popping up for stuff? Yeah. Nah, it's a bleach. It's bleach. I don't see any grays on your head. Oh, really? Yeah. There's one or two. Sometimes Tyler will trim them if he spots them. So we rinsed and we toned. Okay, see how it's starting to turn purpley? Is that the color, Saf? Oh, it is purple. A lot of leading words being said. It could be throwing you off, though. We're trying to throw you off. And then Natalie and I tried to convince Tyler to perm his hair. Oh, you got a success perm. Natalie, do you think I should get a perm? You? Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a look right now. It's like kind of a permed. It's for it's a boy's cut, and it's called uh, Meet Me at McDonald's. And it's like short on the sides and really curly on top. Tyler, when your channel hits a million subs, you're gonna get a Meet Me at McDonald's, and you're gonna get a perm. You mean if if it hits a million subs? I just hope this doesn't turn into another mustache situation where I like it, but no one else does. Everyone's seen it now, so <laughs> if that's appealing to you, I guess subscribe to my channel. <laughs> So after rinsing out all of the toner, I was allowed to see myself in all of my bleached glory. We've got the first toner done. Okay. I'm gonna dry you. Should I look now? If you want, you can look now. Yeah. Ta-da! You're wow. done. I'm like a man of war jellyfish. Yeah. I've got like a mass and I've got tentacles. So Natalie and Tyler went into the back to mix up the dyes and then it was time to put it on my head. Okay, so I'm starting. Oh, it's happening. it's happening. Natalie turned me around to make sure that I couldn't see anything. And then when she like got closer to my peripheral vision, I just closed my eyes. If I wash my hair after a perm, it goes away, right? No. No. Not if it's a permanent perm. Wasn't that the plot point in Legally Blonde? Well, yeah, you can ruin the curls if you wash it too soon. That's true. How long is this safe for? Until it grows out. Yeah. I think you should actually do this. This could be good. <laughs> Once the dye was all in, they put me under a towel. Now you look like an Amish lady. Mm. Okay. How do you solve a problem like Maria? <laughs> Sound of music? No? None? Underneath here is my subscriber hair color. Right now it's just like a giant dreadlock. Okay, it's looking good. All right, is it time? I think it's time, are you ready? Wait, what are we doing next? We're gonna rinse you. And then Natalie brushed out my nest, gave me a quick trim and a couple of layers. I feel the hair dropping on my hands. Oh, actually be careful not to look at what drops. Okay, I'm gonna start the blow dry. All right, I don't know where anyone is, but we're blow drying. It was around this time that I decided to take a nap. It was warm, I was being brushed. I just, I felt like no one would miss me. Are you falling asleep down there? Actually a little bit, it's very relaxing. Yeah. And once I awoke, it was time for the reveal. Dun, dun, dun. 
So the final results of the poll were 4% or 16,000 votes for natural ombre, 14% or 48,000 votes for the blue ombre, apparently you're all Slytherins, 38% or 129,000 votes for lavender ombre, and then with 44% or 150,000 votes, the gray ombre, which is now on my head. Open your eyes. Oh! At first, I couldn't quite see anything because it was kind of like a dark steel color. <gasps> Is it blue? No. no. It's gray. Oh, it's the gray. It'd be oh brighter if God. it was the blue. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that looks cool. What do you think? Oh! That looks so good. I look like a Disney villain mermaid. It is a little villainy. <laughs> Natalie said she had made it a bit darker at first, so it'd have a longer lifespan and fade out over time to that lighter gray from the photos. Awesome, thank you so much, Natalie. This looks so great. Yay! It looks so fun. I'm so happy to do this. This was really fun. I like the big surprise, and like I said, I think this color is perfect for you. It's not too shocking, I feel like. For my first time, you know, right. kind of getting my feet wet. I love it because it's kind of like cool toned. Like, I'm just like a little more evil than before. Overall, I'm very happy with this hair color. I think you guys did a great job choosing. You match the wall behind you. Can you see it in the light? Oh yeah. I'm, I'll go full ring girl to show you. It's like steel hair. Yeah. Blue steel. As I said before, I liked all of the options, but maybe I was a little bit partial to the gray because of my own graying head. And now you can't even tell if there's gray hairs on my head, if it's on purpose or if I'm just old. L'Oreal because I'm aging. It's now been a few days and a few washes since I dyed it, and I think Natalie was right that it is fading out now to look a little bit lighter gray like the photos. Natalie mentioned that once the color fades out, it'll turn like a platinum blonde, at which point I thought that I would just wanna chop it off and have shorter hair, but I feel like I might just wanna go back to her and ask for the same thing, because I really liked that original dark metallic color that kind of had the like, is it dyed or is it not dyed vibe. But as Natalie said, paraphrased, once you pop, the fun don't stop. So we could just try out any of the other colors that you guys didn't like as much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to everyone who voted in the polls. And thank you in advance to Natalie for perming Tyler's hair. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Avocado Emoji for watching. Thanks for watching Avocado Emoji, and I will see you guys a next time when I let you pick my tattoo. What? Who said that? Not me. What? <laughs>